Hey everyone, John Chow here from JohnChow.com. It is Saturday. I'm here to self OC Calls and Coffee, the biggest weekly car meetup in the world. Let's go check it out. Okay, starting at Supercar Row, here we have the Camaro belong to the founder of the show, Supercharge, and then we have a Panamera, a couple of Audi R8s here. Uh, both of these Audis got the rear engine up because both of these Audis are supercharged. Yeah, that's right. So VF Engineering Supercharged V10. They make around 850 horsepower. So a significant increase in horsepower to an already powerful car. Why you want to do that? Yeah, because you want to keep up with the Tesla. That's why. Porsche GT3, GT3 the new GT3, J's Ford GT, and ooh, a nice, uh, nice color on this F8 here. Very nice. And here we have a black version. Yeah, but this this color is very nice. Black's nice too. Oh, and then we have a red one. Wow, it's a <laughs> a whole bunch of a whole bunch of F8 and another red F8. Uh, another Ferrari, uh, another Ferrari F8. Well, definitely, it's it's Ferrari day. Red for eight. Red, red F8 Ferrari day. <laughs> and 488. Italia, uh, yeah, and then we have the GT3, and oh, check this thing out! Wow, <laughs> it's a race car. Hey, check out the, <laughs> the back here. Good look on the engine here. Wow, very nice. That's nuts. And then we have a 600 LT. 600LT with the top mounted exhaust. Yeah. Lots of carbon, very, very good specs here. Carbon, carbon mirrors. They have Italia Spider. A GT3 with, a, with an extra, extra, extra large wing. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Then we have a good look here at the Lamborghini Performante with crushed carbon fiber. Check that out. Crushed carbon fiber, crushed carbon fiber on the mirror and some on the dash as well. Audi R8, Maserati, McLaren 650 Spider, McLaren 720. And then we have a Ferrari 360 right here. And going on to another McLaren. Acura NSX. Ooh, STO. Urcon STO. Audi R8. And the fastest track Porsche, the GT2 RS. Another 600. A GT3 RS. Uh, another 600. So I saw this one come driving in. It's got the, it's got the big wing there. And then lastly, a rear-wheel drive Lamborghini Huracan with a body kit and a really nice wrap and blue wheels. I like it. All right, so uh, this vintage Stingray, it's uh, really, really cool. Uh, you can see it's a four on the floor Herc shifter, but look, it's got an updated Chevy LS3 motor. So basically, uh, I don't know what happened to the original motor, stolen broken whatever it is but uh this owner has a sense of humor so check it out here it says warning if you ever see this car being trailer called 911 it's definitely been stolen so that's the first part of humor the second part of humor was this hybrid vehicles burn gas and rubber and stop the global whining mm -hmm. <laughs> i like it oh check out this mustang gt so it's not the GT350, it's a standard 5 liter, but the owner here decided that uh, he would require a little more power. So he put a Whipple supercharger on top. Uh, definitely, it's, uh, look, that's a big supercharger, so it's definitely making more power than before. Nice. BMW M3 
and with the new kidney grill. I have to admit, like I said, it is starting to grow on me. I'm, I don't mind it anymore, and I'm actually starting to think it actually looks attractive. I don't know, something's wrong with me. Bumblebee Camaro with a Kowal gold wing doors, Lambo doors, wide body kit. Oh my words. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's. There you go. Follow him on Instagram. Check that out, interior. Crazy. I mean, there you go. It's on, it's on air rides. So you can see the suspension set up. Yeah, that, that's a nice job there. Mustang GT500, top of the line Mustang, 760 horsepower supercharged V8, and this one has the optional track pack, which includes carbon fiber wheels. Very like carbon fiber wheel and also a carbon fiber spoiler back here. Yeah. Nice. Uh, here's a tastefully done Chevy Nova. Yeah. New interior. Five point racing harness. Uh, check out that. Uh, <laughs> check out that shifter. Crazy. Uh, Look at that. Wow. And then the engine here. Supercharged. With a really nice work on the in with on the air inlet there. Wow. And here we have a Lexus LC five hundred. This is Lexus uh, two door sports car. And they're really, really nice. I mean, I, I, they should really get more attention than, than they actually do. But uh, yeah, this is it's a beautiful looking car. It's powerful, it sounds great. It sits full. Well, as long as the people in the back seat's got no legs, you're fine. But yeah, and they're actually, because they're, you know, for some reason they're ignored by, uh, by people. They come down in price quite a bit, so you can pick these up for like 100, under 100 grand, and that makes it quite the supercar bargain. All right, so here's something you don't see every day. This is a Tiger, a Tiger 289 convertible, but check out the motor. Complete engine swap here. Yeah, looks like a Chevy 350 with a Paxton supercharger. And everything in here is really packed tight. You can tell it has to be low profile. Oh my word. And the, the air intake has to go here because it's got no room up front, so he has to sacrifice a bit of efficiency by putting it back here next to the hot engine. But uh, yeah, an amazing piece of packaging. That's nuts, they could fit all that into this tiny little Tiger. Vintage Corvette convertible, classic, classic sports car with an updated motor. So this is a modern Corvette LS2 motor in a classic Corvette. SS Camaro, ZL1 Camaro, another SS Camaro, and oh, check this out, a Porsche 924 Spider, or oh, convertible. This is, uh, Porsche actually never made 924 convertible, so this is a custom job. The other one, the one with yeah. Kind of cool. Check this thing out. Wow. Right now, clearly it's a work in progress, but uh, I can tell you, when this thing is done, look at the metal work there. Yeah, when this is done, it's gonna look pretty amazing. Oh, that is so cool. Wow. This is like the classic hot rod being restored to its full glory. So check out the detail, huh? No bondo here. It's a Mazda Miata MX-5 that beats with the heart of a Corvette. <laughs> nice. Classic 
normal everyday Porsche 911, not a Turbo, not a GT3, just a 911, pretty base model, but you know, it's, it's a Porsche, so there you go, and check out the license plate frame, at least he admits what he is. Here we have a Dodge SRT Hellcat with this big 840 horsepower supercharged Hemi. Yeah, this thing lives its life a quarter mile at a time. And you notice something? Check this out. See that little red thing, that lipstick? Uh, that's actually delivery tape or delivery to protect the uh, to protect the spoiler when delivery is supposed to be taken off. But I noticed that a lot of oh SRT owner they 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 leave it on. They leave it on because they think it looks cool, even though it should be taken off. But yeah, I, I don't judge. It looks okay. We're we're about it. I don't mind. Primif Roadrunner Superbird. Yeah, take the deuce of hazard and make it more aerodynamic. This is basically it. Rudolph the Super Reindeer. GT350 Heritage Edition. Yeah, nice. White with a blue stripe. Heritage package. Porsche 924, the regular 924. So this is what it looked like when it's not been hacked up into a convertible. It's the, holy shit. Now this is a dune buggy. Check it out. All ladder frame. You can see the exoskeleton that protects the car and the occupants. <laughs> Exposed fuel tank here, nice with the straps and all. You can see the battery. Easily, everything is easily serviceable. And then the back. You expect normally a little four cylinder, but check out the size of this. Check out, check that out. Air cool, air cool six cylinder. Nice. Last but not least, check out the gas pedal. Yeah. Okay, I think a little too much camber. Okay, too much camber, period. All right, so check it out. We have the big, the big bad Rolls Royce Dawn. The Rolls Royce convertible. Rolls Royce, always vertical, always upright. Suicide doors, of course. Real wood trim. Yeah, Rolls Royce. This, this thing is big, large, and in charge. Wow. <laughs> Nuts. And then next to that, we have oh, the Lamborghini Club, a Ventador, an SV. Oh, check it out the Diablo, Diablo, Italian for devil. Really a little bit more blue. GT3, another Uracon. GT2 RS, another one, nice. GT4 Spider, a 650, and yeah. 4A8, another GT2 RS, this one in red, and it's for sale by the way. Oh my, so you're interested? Give, give LNC a call. A Ventador. Another Aventador. And then lastly, we have here the MC20. Maserati MC20. So this is Maserati's newest supercar. Looks quite nice. Uh, it's less expensive than the equivalent Ferrari or McLaren. Almost as powerful. It's got the looks. Maserati MC20. I was gonna say we have a new champion for the most modified Model 3 ever, and I was gonna say that until I find out this is the same Model 3. So I see it has changed. It's got a completely new paint job. It used to be white, and now it's uh, it's this purplish uh, tinge. 
license plates are the same. So this has the uh, Porsche GT3 front clip. So it looks like a GT3. And he's also got the Lambo doors. <laughs> Interior hasn't changed much except for the floor mats. Yeah. And here we have a, a GT3 wing and the Porsche GT3 rear. So we're really trying to make it look like a GT3. Wow, a sponsor. And of course, it is a one of one. And lastly, we have a Lamborghini Murci Lago SV. So this is a Murci, the most powerful Murci Lago ever made, made for the track, held the Nurburgring record for a while. Yeah, a big V12, you can see it underneath there. Lots of carbon. And that idling sound you hear, it's coming from the Tesla. <laughs> Listen to that exhaust. <laughs> Show it off. You've gone crazy, man. Thank you. Gone that crazy. was awesome. And that is Self OC Cars and Coffee. It happens every week from uh, 9 a.m. to 11 o'clock. Uh, if you're in the cars and you like to look at cars, have a cup of coffee, this is a place to be on a Saturday. John Jeff and JohnShot.com. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed that, give me a thumbs up. Please like and share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.